Okay, in today's video, we're going to go through another in our series of stoichiometry videos. We're going to go and learn how to convert from grams to liters of a gas. So we're going to start with a certain number of grams of one of our reactants, and we're going to produce a certain number or determine how many liters of gas we're going to produce. Here's our chemical equation. It says calcium plus phosphoric acid uh, is going to yield calcium phosphate plus hydrogen gas. Um, we need to remember that our chemical equations are molar relationships, not gram relationships. So it says up here we have with our coefficients, we have three moles of calcium plus two moles of phosphoric acid is going to yield one mole of calcium phosphate and three moles of hydrogen gas. And we want to know if we start with 18.75 grams of the phosphoric acid, how many liters of hydrogen gas are we going to use? All right. So because it's a molar relationship, the first thing we have to do is we have to always convert from grams to moles. And we're going to do that using the molar mass. All right. Now this assumes, this being step one, assumes that we already have the chemical equation and we have a balanced chemical equation. So when we start with our actual balanced chemical equation, then step one is to convert from grams to moles using the molar mass. So then we're going to use, uh, for step two, we're going to use the molar ratio to determine how many um, moles of the other substance we're going to produce. And then the third step is we're going to convert, in this case, from moles to liters of the gas. We're not going to convert from moles to grams because we want to know how many liters of the gas. We could convert to moles to grams, but we want to know, in this case, how many liters of the gas. We're going to do that using the molar volume. Okay, so let's get started. I think this should go relatively quickly. We said step one is to convert from grams to moles because it's a molar relationship. So that's the first thing we always do for given grams. We need to convert to moles. If we were given moles, of course, we could, step, we could skip step one. We have 18.75 grams of phosphoric acid. I always write down the number, the unit, and the chemical formula that helps me to keep it straight so I know which substance I'm talking about in this case. Now we're going to convert using the molar mass. One mole of phosphoric acid is equal to 98 uh, grams. I put the grams on the bottom because I want to be able to cancel like this so I can cancel that and get out of the grams and into the moles. Then if I take 18.75 divided by 98, I get 0.19 moles of phosphoric acid. I like to write that down right below there just so I remember that that's my relationship. 18.75 grams is 0.191 moles. So that is step one. Now we're going to go to the next page and we're going to do step two and step three together here. We're always going to start now. Now that we've converted from grams to moles, we're going to use this molar uh, amount. We have 0.191. Again, I wrote down the moles and the chemical formulas. Chemical formula. We're going to use our railroad tracks here to convert. We want to now use the molar ratio. We want to get out of the moles of phosphoric acid, so we put that in the bottom. We want to get into the moles of hydrogen um, hydrogen gas, so we put that on the top. That means I can cancel, and I'm going to put down my coefficients here, because this is my molar ra ra ratio, is two moles of phosphoric acid to three moles of hydrogen gas. So I put the two and the three there. That allows me to cancel. 1.191 times 3 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.287 moles of hydrogen gas. Now we know. Now we need to know if we have that many moles of hydrogen gas, how many liters of hydrogen gas. So we're going to use that value, and we're going to use our molar volume of the gas at standard temperature and pressure, which tells us that one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure, in this case we're talking about hydrogen, is 22.4 liters. So we can cancel the moles, get out of the moles, get into liters, and therefore now we know that if we have uh, 0.287 moles of a gas, and hydrogen gas, that is going to be equal to 6.42 liters. This L, capital L, stands for liters of hydrogen gas. Okay? So that's how we can figure out, if we were in grams, how many liters of hydrogen gas we can produce. First, we went from the grams using the molar mass to the moles. Then we did step two, which was our um, converting from the moles of one substance to the moles of the other substance using our molar ratio. And then step three was to convert from the moles of the gas into liters of gas using the molar volume of the gas at standard temperature and pressure. All right, so we know that that will yield 6.42 liters of hydrogen gas. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, you give me a thumbs up below or leave me a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.